The Prime Minister of the Bahamas says seven people are now known to have been killed as a result of Hurricane Dorian. Hubert Minnis also says that number is expected to rise following the most powerful storm on record ever to hit the area. It was a Category 5 when it hit the Bahamas and it hardly moved for over 24 hours. The storm has now been downgraded to a Category 2 hurricane. It still remains very powerful, however. After being nearly stationary, it's now moving towards the east coast of the U.S. According to the National Hurricane Center, um, the latest news from them is that it's about 110 miles off the east of Cape. It's 110 miles, excuse me, east of um, Cape Canaveral, off the east coast of Florida. Maximum sustained winds 110 miles an hour. Now, along that east coast of the U.S., more than a million people are being told they must evacuate. Sky's US correspondent Amanda Walker reports from Florida. The Bahamas were battered by Hurricane Dorian for over 24 hours. Swim, swim, swim. People are trying to comprehend the conditions they now have to deal with. Getting the necessary aid here will be a massive challenge. This is the airport on Grand Bahama rendered useless by a massive storm surge. And this is the water by my back door and glass. A local politician could only document the unbelievable scene inside his home. This isn't regular flooding. It's an ocean invasion with similar scenes in thousands of other homes. A huge swathe of the Bahamas is currently underwater. This is a satellite image of now. Compare it with what the islands looked like before this sustained attack from a Category 5 hurricane. Dorian smashed the islands, then almost ground to a halt, lingering for hours on end. We are working on a scenario that every, every person on Abaco and on Grand Bahama will need some form of humanitarian assistance. We believe that more than 13,000 houses have been severely damaged or destroyed. That's about 45% of all homes on the two islands. When you look at this devastation, you can see why lives have been lost. Hurricane Dorian has only just left the Bahamas. The new reality here will only become more devastating. Amanda Walker, Sky News, Florida. OK, well, um, we've got some footage coming out of the Bahamas. Have a look at this. Um, this is recorded over Great Abaco Island. You can see the level of destruction there. Mile upon mile of flooded neighbourhoods, pulverised buildings, upturned boats, um, and even some shipping containers uh, upside down and scattered. Um, Buildings that haven't been flattened, had their wall, have had their walls or their roofs partly ripped off. Um, it, this is in Marsh Harbour, which is one of the first places that was ravaged by Hurricane Dor Dorian. It was a Category 5 hurricane when it hit. So um, these are the first pictures that we're seeing coming out of um, the part of the Bahamas that was hit the hardest. This is Great Abaco. Island. So, um, yeah, we're keeping an eye on that because the, um, the Prime Minister of the Bahamas had said that uh, seven people are now known to have died, but that they do expect that number to go up.